studio. And so these people are actually real. Like, I can touch them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like flesh and blood real people. So it's, just, it's great to see that, that we can bring them in for this. Uh, I, I think if people knew how to think about and understand and process information and data, this film wouldn't even be necessary. So, so this is a piece. This has to, um, this has to remedy a symptom of a much deeper problem. And I think the simplest way I can say this is consider that there are three kinds of truths. I used to think there was only one kind of truth, but then you argue with people who are sure about their truth. So I said, all right, let me give them their truths. So, and then bin them into three kinds of truths. This pretty much covers them all, I think. I've thought about this. One kind of truth is what I call a personal truth. This is true for you, personally, whether or not it's true for anyone else. Is Jesus your savior? Is Mohammed the last prophet on earth? These are your personal truths. Typically, to convince others of your personal truth, it requires some form of persuasion, and in the limit, it can even require violence. That's how you get the Crusades and other things, to, to convince someone else of your personal truth. There's another truth. I'll call it a sort of cultural political truth. These are truths that get established simply by repeating them, with or without regard to any absolute verification of what is stated. So we all know Hillary's first name. Her first name is Crooked, okay? <laughs> Crooked Hillary. That got repeated, okay? So you can establish truth simply by repeating them, and they become a cultural political truth. The third kind of truth is one that is a truth that exists outside of yourself. It is an objective truth. So as the little bit of me in the film from, um, from Bill Maher, it's science is true. When I say science, that's, that's, you have to unpack that sentence. Science is true whether or not you believe in it. I'm referring to not science as anything that science does. I'm referring to emergent, verifiable results. That is the science I refer to in that brief clip. The scientific process. The scientific method. And the scientific method, as was stated in the film, if he gets a result, that is not established as true until other people can verify this result. It's not how the media does it, though. The media finds your result as kind of interesting and a little bit controversial. That becomes the headline. And if he's on the frontier of research, somebody else might find a different result. And the and these different results are bouncing around, and it leaves you to think that scientists don't know what the hell they're doing. On the bleeding edge of scientific research, information goes back and forth all the time. It's when there's an emergent, repeated result. That's when you establish a scientific truth. And those truths are objective truths, and they are true no matter your personal belief system, no matter where you were born, and that is the kind of truth that people should base legislation on and laws. Decisions about their children. Anything that affects everybody in a pluralistic society, if you're gonna pass a law, that's the kind of foundation it should be based on. Without it, you are, you are fomenting a, if you start basing laws that are not anchored in objective truths, it is the beginning of the end of an informed democracy.